All right, going right what? into it. Whoa! Yep, yep, sorry about that. That is the Empoleon there. I was not expecting <laughs> an Empoleon starter, actually. And it looks like Jin wasn't either. He kind of shook his head and laughed at it a little bit. He's like, all right, all right. Let's see what Pingu Boy can do. He's, uh... Luckily, we do know a little bit about this character. We've got our own local penguin, and it, it helps. You know, we know the options that he has. Uh, Stealing was a little bit too high there, and he's going to get a big conversion off of it. Half of him pulling on self gone right there. So that, what is that, Force Palm? Force Palm, that yeah. Move, and that move hurts a lot. So Swat's aiming for uh, mobility focus, um, and... Finding some openings now, uh, won the second field phase, gets a big beefy Hydro Cannon. It looks like Swalot's main game plan is going to be kind of a, the, the weird run and gun that Empoleon can do, where he can go from one end of the screen to the other and crossing you up at the same time. Uh, wow, that was a very weird interaction. Yeah. I can't believe the, the counter autocorrected for it enough. Or the, what surprises me there is that Empoleon, the Aqua Jet, cut into the counter and then, like, hard cut left. That was whack. All right. Ooh, but that's going to get it. Uh, we He's going to finish it with the, the style. Burst. I mean, there's nothing else you can do with it. Call it if you got it. He didn't have to, but he wanted the, he wanted the bird pose, you know? Yeah. And I think Swallowed is a, uh, he's a very just happy, goofy character himself. So he goes for the, those kinds of goofy things. Very excellent sidestep uh, by Gene to go into, he could grab into field phase. But uh, thanks a lot, is getting some good pressure out there. I like his use of just the big booty penguin to get in and pressure against the wall. Gene's doing a good job playing keep away. Or put, uh, keep in that corner, keeping that pressure on. Confirms Aqua Jet into Waterfall. That's big damage, putting Jin in range. Honestly, I kind of do like the Magic Card support pick in this matchup. Even if he wasn't expecting Empoleon, it yeah. still really does come in handy because Empoleon's combos do hurt. He's a power character. He's designed to just do big damage when he does get to connect, you yep. know? All right, so uh, thanks a lot. Takes that first game. We're seeing some conversions. Seeing some changes here. Sticking with Lucario. Looks like we Going have a support Mew. switch. Yeah. Or maybe Celebi. Mew, Mew Celebi. <laughs> I'm gonna assume it's Mew. A yeah. lot of people seem to take the Mew, and I don't think forcing phase shifts really does a lot in this situation. No. They're both kind of trying to have the same goals a little bit. Yeah. Um. All right, I think Swallowed is getting a little bit better of the patient game with Empoleon. Just a little bit. Jin That's an excellent getting, counter, though. Getting the counter that he could not quite get in game one. He struggled with that a little bit, and it's, it's good to see him make the adjustment on the time. Bone Rush not letting Empoleon slide right in Mikario's face. We're back in. Now we're back in dual phase. He's kind of he's just going in. He's Mario saying, "Listen, I'm changing up now." I'm going to be in your face no matter where you try to run. It's my turn. Back hop punish. I want to make a really important note right now. Swala is running with Rotom. That means that if he gets his burst and Jin gets knocked down at any point while Rotom is able to be called, that sets up for that horrendous unblockable situation. Yeah, we'll see if we get that just this time. That's some good solid work for I think Swalot, uh, but he is still in uh, on life support here. Trying to find. I think we might see it this round. He's almost got that. He's got that full stick. Rotom's almost up. Even if he can just pressure him, I don't know if he'll need that to do it. That chip from Hydro Cam was amazing. Very smart. Okay, play, here we yeah. are. It's yep, up. We're in the situation. Five seconds to go. And jump, da uh, slide, to jump into uh, just a small jump Y, and that's enough to uh, seal the deal for thanks a lot. I think that uh, Jin jumping at that distance with Rotom out was actually the spark play. 
Uh, despite Diffuse the low it. health, uh, it diffused the Rotom, as you said, and there was no threat of the burst attack. Ops to take the hit rather than the loss of synergy. So Swalla does seem to be kind of returning to the run and gun style that his penguin was playing with in game one for a little bit. He's just he's going, he's mixing them up, and keeping him on his toes. Doing a good, both sides are doing a really good job dodging fireballs. That counter is going to cut through the bone rush. Winning dual phase four, thanks a lot. Sorry, had burst on deck, uses it. He's looking to find big damage from here. That the force palm will be it. Is going to definitely help even things up. And this wall combo is going to be enough to give him the lead. Extreme speeds over the counter, but thanks a lot. Dashes around it, forces the cross up, and is able to punish him now. Oh, puts things into the wall. I've seen Squallot practice things like that. He gets the Rotom hit and then he backs up with the Aqua Jets and he can just kind of confirm into whatever he wants. With time in Squallot's favor, he is probably going to continue running and gunning here. It's nailed by a hefty Bone Club. We've got air to airs coming out. Oh my goodness. I know what Lemon would say right there. Steel Wing, Wing is, is bad. bad. <laughs> oh, Steel Wing got stuffed by the anti-air, but unfortunately it wasn't enough for Jin. Yep, and the light armor prevented it from uh, doing any recoil. I so think there was a crit buff on Jin. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't.